Come on. Well, good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Kim Folk Farm. Appreciate you guys stopping by. Today, we are going to have some fun, or I'm going to have some fun. Y'all can come along and watch. Uh, first thing I need to do, I need to, uh, I'm getting ready to clean out all these uh, pens, a chicken pen, a duck pen, a quail pen. It's been quite a while since I've cleaned them out. They're not super bad. Uh, I don't let it smell around here. I, I try my best not to. But I got to put some hay up. It's supposed to rain tomorrow. I'm just going to put this up. I think in the next couple of days I'm going to get to it. And I got some pine shavings under there too. So y'all may be seeing some uh, cleaning videos pretty soon because I got to get that done. Going to put that up real quick. We're going to fire up the tractor. And we're headed to the garden. Finally, going to put something in the garden today. The weather is absolutely beautiful. I want to say it's 75 degrees. It's probably not that warm, but it's 70 degrees. It's got to be. It's just absolutely beautiful. Got a lot of rain coming next few days, so this is going to work out great. Got some stuff we're going to put in the garden. Rain's coming. Couldn't be better. Mia's tired from running back and forth, back and forth. <laughs> I'm surprised she didn't get stung by the bees. She wants to get up on them bees. And, and of course, I don't video it, but I had to yell at her every time. Get away from the bees. Follow me. Stay down here. I, it's a constant having to watch what I'm doing. Watch her from getting in the bees. Because I think when we first got her, we had her one day where her face got really, really swelled up. And we think that she had got in the bees one time. Uh, she's a dog. She gets so curious. But uh, she didn't get stung, thank goodness. Not that I noticed. But this turned out looking really good. I was actually hoping for a lot more compost. Uh, I, I was wanting to fill up the garden, but that's about all I got. Uh, I had a bunch of real weedy uh, stuff that didn't break down that I remember when I pulled that fabric up earlier in the fall, winter. Um, that them weeds just rolled up and they didn't really break down. So I just pushed them back up in the woods. I really didn't want those that stuff in my garden. I'm sure more will grow. But uh, it looked pretty good. I'm really happy. And check this out. I meant to pull this out. You guys know I just put out a, a gourd video. Apparently we missed one. <laughs> I love this stuff. We just compost everything. Throw it in the compost. It breaks down. You put it right back in the garden. But we're going to run to the house. Uh, I actually forgot everything. My, my plants are at the house and the hoe is back down there where the tractor's at. So let me grab all my stuff. We're going to put some plants in the ground. 
The honeybees are out. I don't know if y'all can see that guy lying around right there. They are out looking for something, and there's not a lot blooming. I hate that. Uh, but it looks like those two hives are going to make it. They, they look strong. We actually lost one hive. To keep you guys, I didn't do a lot of bee videos last year, but we lost we lost one hive last uh, this over the winter uh, down there at the guest house. But uh, that's okay. We got two to get us through. We'll do some splits out of them. Super excited about that. What we're going to grow today is some red cabbage. I got these from, uh, these are Bonnie plants. I know everybody's seen these everywhere. Uh, don't know what you guys' opinions are of Bonnie plants, but I love them. Uh, I, I grow a ton of stuff from Bonnie every single year. Um, but the fact I don't have time to do a lot of sprouts and, and I just don't have a lot of time. I'm a, a nighttime truck driver. I work and sleep a lot. <laughs> when I make these videos, I have just about two hours to run around and, and do as everything I can as fast as I can. Um, but I love bonnie plants. You can go out and get some great starts, uh, and they go, they do great. Now, last year, I missed out on uh, the red cabbage. I am a red cabbage fanatic. I love I could eat it like cereal. I just love red cabbage. And um, I missed out last year, dang it. Every time I went to get some, they were dry, wilted. They just seemed like they were past uh, planting time. Uh, they just didn't look all that good. Or they didn't have any. But I went by the feed store yesterday to get some feed, and they had just got a shipment in. It was a whole shelf full of cabbage and stuff, so I went ahead and grabbed two to try to jump ahead of the game. Uh, but excited about having this red cabbage. My only dilemma is we, we have to evaluate everything we plant. I'm curious uh, for, the, for the deer. I'm curious if I plant it here, will the deer come and eat this row of cabbage up? Because we have tons of deer. There's just deer tracks all over the place. Um, so I don't know if I should plant it here. Up there we have a high fence. And when the deer come, they'll come down. And they end up coming through this little gap right here all the time. But I have plans in the next week or two. I have plans to, to solve all my deer problems. I, I, I've, always, I've tried everything but this one plan. And I don't want to tell you guys about it. But I do have plans to... We're going to wipe the deer out this year, so I'm not going to have, hopefully, no deer problems this year, but uh, I'm going to spend some money this year and take care of the deer problem for the back. We're going to grow so many, so many beans and corn and just everything that deer absolutely love, so I got to do something about these deer. I got a plan for that. Not sure if I should plant here with a the deer. There's no fence whatsoever. It's just muscadine vines, and they, they come in here a lot. They come down from that corner a lot, from them woods. Uh, or should I plant up here? Because it don't seem like we have a lot of track. I think that's what I'm going to plant. I'm going to just plant them up there. Hope for the best. It gets a lot of sun, shade right now, but it gets a lot of sun because we have this whole open pasture. So let's put some plants in. I think right there. I was hoping to do it here with the soil, but I didn't think about it. I wanted this soil in this garden because we put it there last year. Uh, we're going to have a ton of stuff going out here. We're going to go ahead and plant that up there. I keep rambling. We're going to plant this in the first garden.
That looks good. I am happy. I got some cabbage in the ground. I could probably use two or three more. I would say two or three more. Super happy about that. Um, super, super happy about that. I'm going to plow this thing up here pretty soon to get ready to start growing. I, I, we usually don't grow till around April anyway, but stuff like this can take the cold. Uh, the cabbage and greens and stuff like that. A lot of you guys know that they can take the cold. I am a cabbage fanatic. I, I'm going to buy some more. I want to buy a bunch of different green cabbage this year. They have a 45 day cabbage. Um, there's just a bunch of different cabbage. I, I think I'm going to pick up a, a handful more this weekend. I'm on a budget like everybody else. But I want, I want to, I'd like to have a few rows of cabbage up here at the top of this hill. Um, going to be a good year. I'm super excited. I'm super out of shape. I'm going to tell you guys, I'm a year older and a year fatter. <laughs> this, I got to get back in the gym. I swear. I said I was going to, and I still didn't. Uh, <laughs> hopefully this garden will help get me back into shape. It don't help when you got a tractor, but, uh, I just love this stuff. I hope you guys are getting ready to play in your garden or are already in your garden. If you are, leave a comment and let me know. Uh, I'm super excited. We got uh, weed issues this year we're going to be dealing with for the fact we're not using the uh, fabric that we normally use. Like I say, I'm a year older and a year fatter. It's just, we did it for two years and it just wore me out. Rolling that stuff out, rolling it up, staking it down. The wind blows, it blows it up before your stuff starts growing. It's, it's awesome when it's going, but it's a pain in the butt to set up. I mean, it just, that's a young man's game. <laughs> as they say but um we're gonna be dealing with uh weed issues this year i'm gonna get some stuff i'm really gonna up my game with this garden this year i'm gonna get some stuff to help with the weeds or some equipment to help with the weeds and i know you guys are going to suggest a ton of stuff and i would really appreciate that uh because i gotta stay on top of these weeds this year uh we're actually we're going to spend some money on fencing around this this garden i'm not going to play with these deer this year uh, we're going to be growing absolutely tons of beans. This this whole garden will be a lot of beans. It's going to be, you can see the tunnel down there. From the tunnel, it'll just be rows and rows of beans. We'll be growing um, our birdhouse gourds, uh, just a ton of stuff. But it's a lot of stuff that deer love. Uh, they love okra. We're going to be planting a bunch of okra up here. Um, that's my plan anyway. I'm thinking the okra up here, the beans down there. Uh, in this garden, I think I'm going to start down there and start hitting it with the... Uh, I want to try some yellow sweet corn this year if I can find some. Um, I usually buy all that stuff from the from the feed store down the road from us. They sell a little bit of everything. The garden, y'all can't see it from here, but uh, for you new subscribers, behind my guest house, we have a little pasture way back there in the woods. I'll video that coming up pretty soon. We're going to turn that whole thing into silver queen corn. We're just going to grow a bunch of it because we absolutely fell in love with that stuff this year. So, and we ate through it like it was no no problem. We just tore that stuff up. So we're going to grow a ton of that. Uh, yellow sweet corn, if I can find it. We're going to have some watermelons, uh, some more okra. I want to grow a bunch of different okra. The thing about okra, golly, you don't, don't, it don't take much. You can grow it and, and it grows all the way to the first frost. You're picking it every two days. If you guys that don't, have never grown okra, it is amazing. That stuff, you can fill your freezer up in no time growing okra. So you really don't have to grow a lot of okra. Because once it starts putting on, every two days you're picking, you're putting it up. But uh, but we love okra. Uh, we're southern folks. We love good fried foods. Um, and I love a variety too. We, we have three different varieties we're going to be growing this year. So super excited about that. Let's see what Mia's doing before I close this out. She's been out here digging in the garden. That's one thing I gotta watch this year. What you doing, sissy? I'm chilling in the shade. <laughs> you just hanging out in the shade. Huh? Hey. You say, Papa, leave me alone. All right, guys. <laughs> I love y'all to death. Do me a favor. If you're not a subscriber, if you're watching this for the first watching my channel for the first time, hit that subscribe button. I would really appreciate it. I think I'm five. Right now, as I'm videoing this, I'm like five away from 4,000. Hopefully, when this comes out, I'll be over 4,000. I, I want to say thank you guys so much. I love y'all to death. I love the comments. I've made a ton of friends. Uh, 
<laughs> chat wise I would love to meet all you guys maybe one day this summer hopefully we can have an outing here at the farm not sure but we're, we're working on it uh, we're gonna be going to the Crocker meetup uh, pretty soon so I'm hoping to meet all you guys I just I just uh, love YouTube I love doing this stuff I love the farming and I love hearing about your guy, you guys' garden. So uh, leave me comments too. Tell me if you're in the garden or if you're ready to grow. Anyway, I'll keep it. <laughs> what do you think? I love you guys to death. We'll see y'all on the next video.